Hello Planet Lovers, welcome back. Today we'll be talking about my... My... Okay. I will be talking about my copper, silver spoon copper. Uh, this is a succulent, it's called Copper Spoons Plant. Kalachoe or Yagles. Or Yalis or Yalis. Kalache or Yalis, native to Madagascar, forms a subherb with coppery uh, felted leaf fest. In time, lower leaves fade to silver. Small silver. Small, um, where say, small flowers are yellow. Oh, wow. Small flowers are yellow. Wow, that's even beautifuler. Beautifuler. Porous. Soil provides sun on the coast to light shape inland. Water thoroughly when soil is dry, protect from frost. I want for y'all to see this beautiful copper plant. Uh, I kind of scraped it right now from there. I was trying to remove something, and I kind of scraped something from there. Can y'all see that right there? See that copper? If you, if you, if you, uh. Try not, look at this one. This is like way more, more copier than the rest. Maybe y'all can see it this one. It's way more copier than the rest. It is a beautiful, 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 gorgeous plant. Uh, when I saw it, it was like really, really copper. They had it under the direct uh, sunlight and its leaf were super, super, this is the newest leaf. And look at that copperness. It's just amazing. It's a beautiful, beautiful succulent. Um, I actually have one, two, three, four, four stems right here. Uh, I have it under, it gets like five, six hours of uh, the afternoon sunlight. Uh, it gets indirect sunlight all morning. Uh, this one I had to chop it off. It was kind of dying, but look at the rest of the this was chopped like a month ago and look at the rest of the leaf. It kind of got a little damage there, but it's all cured. And yep, this is the way they look through the back. But I just love the copperness on this one. Look at those two. The copperness on that one is beautiful. So I'm going to do a little experiment. I'm going to, I have one, two, three, and of course four pots and I'm gonna use different soils on this one since it's a succulent I'm gonna put this one on uh, the fast draining formula which is the miracle girl um you know guys they're not uh, not promoting it they're not you know have nothing to do with them I'm just using this and this is not promoting the brand or anything okay so like I said I'll be using a potting mix this potting mix for uh for one of the pots, I'll be using uh, these, uh, this other one, uh, which is uh, blended uh, for a wide variety of container plants, indoor potting mix. I'll be using this one as well for another one and you know, just, just do a little bit of experiment to see which one has more growth, what dirt, you know, it's more beneficial for, for the copper plant. And um, we'll see, we'll see, you know, uh, I'll, post, I'll post an update in a week on this same video, like uh, several of my videos that I have, and we'll see, we'll see how uh, they react to this uh, soil and this one. Okay, I'm gonna use this one first. This is the cactus, cactus uh, great for succulents. So this one I'll be using, and I'm gonna put two here, actually one. I'm gonna do an experiment. I'm gonna. Okay, there it is. I'm gonna use the most uh, beautiful one, which is this one. I forgot to tell you guys. I'm gonna do some propagations as well, and um, I'll let you know. Let you know how this one is gonna. It's going to react. I take that off, I like to put uh, throw cinnamon on it, on the cut, 
throw a little bit of cinnamon on the cut. So that way, um, it's a, I don't know if y'all knew, but it's an anti-fungus, um, the cinnamon. And um, it's really, really beneficial. It helps. Um, also, I use it for, uh, as a repellent for the ants. Whenever you have ants, put it around wherever, under your bird's cages, etc., etc. There it is, first one. I'm gonna clean it up and water it right now. This is the one with a succulent mix, okay? The white one, succulent mix. As you all know, I put uh, that little, um, that little, um, I can't remember what it's called. This on the bottom to make sure the dirt doesn't go out through these holes. So for this one, I'm going to use this one for the other one, which originally it was in, in some type of it was almost the same mixture as this soil uh, and it was, it was thriving. It was thriving really, really good. A little bit more. And for this one, I'm gonna put this one right here in its original pot. There you have it. This one is the other mix. Okay guys, for my propagation, I'll be using a little bit of a, the orchid mix. As you can see, the charcoal, it is a coarse perlite and a little bit of fir bark uh, that I'll be using on the bottom for this uh, to give it a little bit of a, you know, airy in the bottom. So this is gonna be for my propagation ones, the ones that I'm gonna propagate. So I'm gonna, put it, I'm gonna use, I'll be using this dirt for that one. You all saw how I, um, you know, took it off from the stem, just, this is the way they look. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this up, put it like that, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of dirt, I'm gonna put some dirt out here. Put us a little bit on top, and then put this one, put some on top, and put this one, it's easy. Put this one like that, top, put some more dirt, and then this one, like that. And of course guys, I'll give you a... Um, I saw somebody doing this on a Spanish uh, channel. And he did all this and he's like, just leave it like that, make sure you water it once it's dry. So I'm gonna water it right now. Give you an update on all that. So, there it is. It's just like that. With this one, guys, I used a little bit of a uh, orchid mix. I just don't, I don't know, I just, I just like uh, the, the way it looks. Gives it that uh, earthy, earthy, you know, look. So, I just did that for that one. Put a little bit over here as well. And there it is. Okay, guys, so it's been a week since I've uh, propagated this ones. And they are not looking good at all they feel soggy um i guess the propagation method is not really working i'm going to give it a couple of more days before i actually take them out and check the actual stem to see if it produces any type of um, root Okay, but I don't know, I might change the conditions. I might just take it outside and just let it air out and then we'll see what happens. Change of plans, I decided to bring it out here. I'm just gonna keep it out here. It's just part of the process. So we learn. Mm. They have black ants, they're growing really nice. But I have something special for them right now.
They're growing after the repot. It's a week later. This one. I believe I still have another one inside. Okay, the other one is back there. New growth right here. Those two new leaves, one, two. And then those two in the middle. I don't know if you can see that right there. I'm gonna try to put it a little bit over here so y'all can see them, guys. New baby leaves right there. So it's doing, it's doing good under this, this glow light right here. Still feels a little water, a little damp. It's doing good in here. But I am going to take it out so it can air out. I'm going to put it outside. I'm gonna put it right there next to the other ones and we'll see we'll see how it does so it can dry out sorry but I'm outside guys um, this is the update they're still growing they still look healthy after what two three weeks oh that airplane sorry about that put in the, I'll put in the description below how many how many months or weeks has it been but uh there it is they're still looking healthy on these two uh substrates oh okay so i just noticed something when they were brought out here look what i just noticed guys starting to attack my plant and that's not gonna happen i'm gonna clean it really really good and I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw in some, some of the soap that I use. I spray it all over the plant, and yep, I noticed a bit starting to form. I already killed three of them. It was three, three of them right there. Let me check under the leaves. No, there's nothing under the leaves. So that one, that one over here. There's another one over here. I just killed. Start a new form, start a new form. Why do you want to kill my plants? Little, can't remember the name of the bug. Insect. There's nothing down there, nothing down there. And the leaves should feel hard, guys. It should feel, this ones feel a little weak. It has water, so I'm going to try to put it here so it can get a little bit of sun so there it is I put it down there this one this one's looking good as well this one oh it's starting to get attacked too by that little animal but I'm gonna make sure I clean it there just killed one two Three. Oh, there's a big one back here. I don't know if y'all can see. There's a couple of them right there. Monos. I just kill them with my fingers. I wash my hands really good after. They start nesting here and they start oof, expanding super quick. But yeah, this one's looking good too. Guys, unfortunately, the propagation didn't work. It is what it is, it's a learning experience. I'm gonna do more research and I'll let you know. Research and I'll try a new method. Uh, but there it is, it is what it is. We learn, it's a learning experience for everybody, for you and for me.